Hello all, welcome to part one of Extent Reports. In this session, I am going to explain why default test ng generated reports are not enough or not used in real time. So let's get started. So why the default test ng generated reports, test ng generated test automation results depicting reports are not enough. Okay, even though the test ng generates the reports, test automation results reports, still they are not enough or we don't generally use them in real time. Okay, so why? These are the reasons. They are not advanced reports. Okay, they look very simple and basic, guys. Okay, they, this uh, default test ng generated reports are very basic reports. Okay, they are not beautiful, also. Okay, they are, even though they have modified, okay, compared to the older theme. The latest theme is better, but still, still the latest theme is not that much beautiful. Okay, when you compare, when you compare this uh, test ng default generated reports with other third party external reports like extent reports or allure reports, right? Okay, you can feel the difference. Right? Like the default generated test ng reports are not that much beautiful. Okay, they are okay. Okay, they are not advanced. Also, okay, the the way that information is categorized. And all those stuff. Okay, they contain less information, guys. There are no analytics. You see, people prefer analytics, right? How many tests got passed in the in the form of pie diagrams and all those stuff that are the, not there in this default test ng generated reports. And and also uh, other customization is not so easy, guys. Like uh, attaching the screenshots or uh, putting the logs in a proper order. Okay, so it it actually are very basic uh, level reports. Okay, which doesn't provide. Uh, the features, advanced features. Okay, we for advanced features in the reports. Okay, while while uh, showcasing the test automation results as part of the report. Okay, we need advanced tabs and analytics and all those stuff, screenshot logs and all those stuff and a lot of customization capabilities, etc., which are not available in the default generated test ng reports. So let me show you one sample default test ng generated report here. So. You don't have to worry about this project, guys. Just focus on the report, okay? So here, uh, after we run some script, okay, this is a test ng project. Test ng project. Uh, after I have run the script, this test, test output folder came because of the test ng, guys. If you have test ng configured in this project, in this Maven Java project, if the test ng is configured after running the test test automation scripts, this test output folder will come, okay? So you don't have to create this and all. I'm just. Uh, uh, asking you guys to focus only on the report that I'm going to show you. This is the report, guys. Okay, under the test output folder, index.html is a default generated test ng report. Okay, so just open in web browser. It looks like this. Okay, the latest uh, UI looks like this. Okay, the green color thing and all the stuff. And still, it's not. Uh, it's giving some information, but not up to the mark. Okay, not up to the mark. The way that uh, extent report looks, or the way the allure report looks, uh, it's not up to the mark. Okay, so older theme was like this, guys. It's it was a bit older. You can observe that. Okay, now if you go to the latest theme, that ultra ultra theme, at least the color combination is good. Okay, so here we are getting the test automation results, but uh, this is not up to the mark. That's why it's not being used in the real time. Okay, while sharing this uh, test automation results with the client or any other people, managers, etc. Okay, this is not a good report to share. Okay, so even though the test ng generates these reports. Apart from this default generated uh, test ng report, uh, test ng also generates one more report known as emailable report.html. Okay, so this is for emailing purpose, guys. Okay, so even though it generates, but we don't use, okay. So if you want to send the test automation results uh, over an email, this is that this is HTML report, which is preferred. Okay, both are test ng default generated reports only. In that, for emailing purpose, this is a better report, okay? Because at a high level, all the results are mentioned and we can simply find out which got passed, which got skipped, and which got passed, etc., failed, passed, etc., okay? And with all the exception details and so on, okay? In a simpler manner, okay? Compared to the this index.html, this, this report looks simpler, okay? It, this report looks complex and it's not uh, so much understandable or it is not beautiful at all, okay? The, both the reports are not beautiful, okay? And uh, no analytical kind of information is available in this reports. Okay, now this is the reason why we have to uh, know about extent reports. Okay, we'll step by step go 
go and learn about the extent reports okay first i will uh, cover some theoretical topics about the extent reports what exactly the extent reports are how they look like and all those stuff later uh, the official website of extent reports in the coming sessions and later guys i will show you how to set up and uh, install and uh, set up okay download install customize or whatever it is you call uh, how to configure this extent reports in our projects and all those stuff i'll cover okay so how how to integrate this extent reports with the test ng and everything every advanced topic will be covered in detail regarding the extent reports in this playlist okay for now to get started this is the overview session where uh, why default test ng reports are not enough or not being used in real time is a concept and hope you got some idea okay now uh, we'll move to the next topic in the next session guys widely used test automation reports in the market if not default test ng reports then what are the reports that are third-party reports that are available in the market that we have to use in real time, okay? is something that I'm going to cover in the next session. So that's all for this session, guys. In the next session, I'm going to cover another topic on extent reports. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.